when I'm going to ask you a problem like this, I would say, first thing I'd want to do is break this up. Do you know how I could break this up? Uh, I'm not really too sure exactly what you said, but I'm assuming that you wanted me to do this. Is that what you're thinking about? No? OK. Well, what I was thinking of, and, and you could break this up. Were you thinking of breaking apart the 2 and the G? OK. Well, you could look at this again and, and look at this and say, um, you could break that up. But again, what you look at, if you broke that up and do the square root of 2 times the square root of G cubed, Right? Is that what you're looking at? All right. We can't take the square root of g, g. We could simplify the square root of g to the cubed, right? But then we're going to have that on the top and bottom. So before we get to that, what I'd like you guys to do is think about it like this. If we write this down, yeah, we can simplify 2g cubed, right? But can we simplify the square root of 5z? No, we can't. So Ava, what you're going to want to do is we need to get this off our denominator. Now, thankfully, we know that we're taking the square root of a number. So all we need to do to get this to be off the square root is we just need to simply multiply it by the square root of 5z. Because when we multiply the square root of 5z times the square root of 5z, what that is now going to produce is 10z g cubed divided by the square root of 5z squared. Well, what's the square root of something squared? Just the same thing, 5. Those are going to undo each other. right? Then can we simplify um, g cubed? Yeah, we can rewrite that. The square root of g cubed, ladies and gentlemen, is we can write that as g squared times g. And we know what the square root of g squared is. That's just going to be g. So we can write this as g square root of g. So over here, and then also, can I, re can I simplify the square root of 10? Is there a square number that divides into 10? No. So therefore, we can't simplify the square root of 10. So my final answer is just going to be g square root of 10z divided by 5z. 10zg, thank you. Because that g was still under the radical. Anybody have any questions on that? Uh, it's called rationalizing the denominator. Now remember what we talked about last class period. If we weren't in squares, if this was cubes, you couldn't multiply by 5z, right? Right? Do you guys remember talking about that? No, you don't remember talking about that? Or you just had trouble understanding it? Right. OK. Well, we did it with squared. Does that make sense? Yes. OK. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's say I did. The